Hi guys, good morning. It's your girl Kill Chemist and I'm popping on camera. I should have done this video like two days ago, um, but I just was busy all week. Um, but I wanted to come in and announce to you that it is now time to vote for your favorite logo idea. So if you haven't been keeping up with the Lock Appreciation Day logo contest, we have eight entries. Yes, eight entries. At first I was worried, I had an update video where I was worried we weren't gonna get any entries. And now we have a total of eight official entries. There would have been a ninth entry, however, um, and it was really an awesome entry, but the individual used an image that um, was not an original image. Uh, it was actually a photograph that I feel would have been maybe uh, associated with some copyright issues. And after reading some different articles online about um, using of image use of images and especially for selling it on you know reproducing it and selling it uh, even for t-shirts I read in art some articles and I just didn't want to take the chance there's a lot of mixed information but I didn't want to take the chance of of having some issues uh, result from us having these t-shirts for Lock Appreciation Day so as much as I appreciate that person's entry I'm just gonna have to not include it uh, I want to give quick shout outs to those eight individuals who took the time out to um, post their ideas. Um, Soul True Love did uh, a design with two different variations. Sandy Cheeks, she did several different designs. Uh, Melodic Locks also did a couple different ideas. Um, well, he had one idea, but he did some different variations in his video. Natural Beauty Me, she had one design, which she did some different color uh, ideas. Uh, Neeks Oasis, I think it's Neeks Oasis. She had three different ideas in her video, which were all very awesome ideas. Also, shout out to Tony Daily 80 and The Boy, who also submitted their ideas in the same video. And uh, Felicia Folum, who was the original person who entered, she was the first entry. Um, so what I've done here in this video is I've just added a few little clips of each design so you can see them. And what I'm going to ask that you do is um, watch. I'm going to put links to all of the different videos because I think it's important for you to understand the creative process and the ideas behind the logos and not just look at it and say, oh yeah, I like that. And then I would like for you to cast your vote. Now, I know people may have already made comments on the individual's videos, um, but I would like for you to put your official vote here on this video, like in the comment section below. Tell me which one you like. If you can't choose and narrow it down to one, which I definitely can't, then you are feel more than free to vote on more than one. Um, but yeah, I this voting will will last from now until the 13th at midnight Eastern Standard Time of May. And after that time, I will tally up all the votes and then I will contact the individual who has won and I will um make an, a formal announcement and then I will get the ball rolling with that person about getting their ideas uploaded to a, a t-shirt site. I think we're going to go with Zazzle again. I got to check Z Zazzle versus Cafe Press versus what other sites are out there for pricing and, and um, as far as variety of t-shirt options. Um, but yes, make sure you vote below this video in the comment section. Just tell me whose design you like. I'm voting for so-and-so's design and if they have more than one then it'll be design two, design whatever um, that way it'll be easier for me to tally up the votes please make sure that you share these videos about lack appreciation day on your different hair forums and hair sites because you know it's not just a YouTube thing um, I want to make sure that other people know that they are included anybody who wants to participate can be included um, and another quick thing, Dante86 has updated, um, the deadline for his contest, for the host contest. We had a few people to enter and I appreciate those who have already entered, but we anticipate that we'll have a lot of entries for the collaboration, um, videos and we need people to edit and host those videos. So right now I think there were maybe four people. If I'm not mistaken, at the, at the last I checked, four or 
I don't know if there were five, but what I have suggested to him is that if we do not get a lot of entries to host these videos, then we're going to have to just limit the video entries that are submitted. So for those of you who are excited about submitting your clip for collaboration, we may have to cut the numbers if we don't have enough people who are willing to help with the editing and hosting. So um, that contest is open until the 9th. If you are even remotely good at editing video footage, then I encourage you to uh, enter the contest. I'll put the link below for that. And uh, what else? If you are doing giveaways, if you are doing um, meetups, start getting that information into us so we can start promoting it and talking about it. Um, I have been making some updates on the blog. Um, I know there were some people who wanted to help me with the blog. I just haven't really gotten enough information that I feel like I need to filter it through anyone else at this time. Um, but I will be reaching out should I feel like it gets overwhelming. And right now I'm kind of able to manage it because everything else is, is working out so well. Um, so thank you in advance for those of you who volunteered. But yeah, I think those are all of my updates. I'm excited to see which logo that we select for 2013. Um, yeah, there's some really awesome ideas. And again, those I'm going to put a, a little clip of all of those at the end of this video. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. Um, for all the support and yeah lock appreciation day is if you didn't remember it is june 22nd this year so yay thanks guys